This is another example of the microscopic work of 19th century German naturalist Ernst Haeckel. The lab partners exists at the intersection of art, science, and technology. We find ourselves taking historically time-honored artistic techniques and we're advancing them and we're transforming them using modern technology. So we're using centuries-old silver spin casting to make jewelry, but instead of traditional lost wax processes, we're using laser cutters to create the original models in acrylic and then casting those in silver. And the pattern is referred to as a raster cast. It's actually burning out all of the areas from the original file. It's just about finished with its raster pass. It's now going to make a vector pass in which the laser is cutting the outside shape from the acrylic. So what we like to do at the lab partners is intensely study traditional techniques of art and then find new innovative technological ways of uh, advancing that technique. So one day I might be working in clay, the next day I might be working in silver, the next day I might be cutting acrylic. Uh, and I think there's something about my personality that is based on that uh, multiple irons in the fire at the same time. Another wonderful uh, series of products that we make, a series of earrings and pendants based on the Japanese artistic technique known as sumi nagashi. Sumi nagashi, uh, ink floating. So literally floating ink in a small dish of water, uh, using a very small needle to integrate those inks and in swirls, and then placing our blank pendants on top of that. What happens is the surface tension of the water causes the ink to slap right up onto the pendant uh, and it creates this wonderful marbled pattern. Like uh, older books, you might see the inside jacket cover being a marbled piece of paper. We're doing those now with pendants and earrings. If we had to find one word to describe the lab partner's uh, philosophy, it would be adornment, right? Adornment of the physical body with jewelry, adornment of the living space with tiles. The idea that once we as humans have taken care of our base physical needs of food and water and shelter, the very next thing we seem to want to do is beautify ourselves and our environment. We find that uh, the collective legacy of humans in, involves really two things. The farther you go back with hominids, you're going to find tool use and you're going to find art, whether it's cave paintings in Lascaux or a chipped piece of sandstone that's used to cut uh, as a tool. These things have been with us really from the very beginning and so the constant evolution of human tool use and the, and the greater intimacy that we have with those tools I think right now is mirrored in the democratization of uh, manufacturing processes. So as a member of the Columbus Idea Foundry, I find I have access to tools that otherwise would have been locked up inside of warehouses and manufacturing firms, and I can use those to create new, interesting, fun, wearable art. <laughs>